YouTube video that you've sent me. I'm going to guess right now, this is going to be the, the copiest cope I've ever Why heard Trump in my entire life. triumph in Pennsylvania. All right, let's watch the copium. Let's watch some live, fresh react to some copium. Let's see. Why Trump will triumph in PA and win the election. LOL! Yo, my God, Peacecraft, this is so sad! This is so motherfucking sad. Let's watch, let's watch. Why Trump will triumph in Pennsylvania and win the election. That's the argument that's being put forward by a number of pundits and presidents. Is that Marine Le Pen? This guy is a fascist. This is a fascist. Peacecraft, this is a fascist. You have sent me a fascist. Amazing. President Trump's all star. Is he selling gold in the description? Ah! He's a gold seller! <laughs> yes! Yes, this is so perfect! Peacecraft, you have unintentionally given me the greatest thing ever. <laughs> a gold bug fascist! This, this is what they're dealing. This is what they're huffing right now. Holy shit. Let's watch, let's watch. Single <laughs> team. We're going to get right into it, but of course, I'd appreciate Steve Turkey? your smack no, that Turley, bell Turley. subscribe button. And I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that's our good friends over at Noble Gold. If yeah, yeah, here's the gold selling. Get the fuck out of here. Slower, subscribe to Demon Mama, because you can always have some of the funniest content reacting to MAGA idiots and watching me blow the fuck out of idiots on this website for the next four fucking years. We're going to have the best time. Now's the time to get in. Come on over to my site and sub. There you go. Counter chill. Let's go. Website at noblegoldinvestments.com. Get out of here. Let's dive right in here. Now, a quick update on where we are right now as of early Friday afternoon. The leads are all razor thin. The Trump campaign is indeed confident that it will win Georgia, North Carolina, and Arizona. When all the votes are counted, many of the outstanding I'm sorry, Georgia, I'm sorry. North Carolina are all razor thin. The Trump campaign is indeed confident that it will There, again, his argument, oh, we're confident we're going to win. Let's listen to those lists again will win georgia north carolina and arizona arizona is done delusional delusion delusion he lost arizona hard they're not winning arizona it's not fucking happening they're not winning nevada it's not fucking happening north carolina the who cares counted many of the outstanding votes are military ballots as well as counties that are deep red unfortunately that's a that's a patent lie that is a patent lie. Ready? Watch this. We're going to debunk him live. Ready? Debunking. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you fucking ready? Watch. Nevada. The outstanding can counties are ones that are deep red. No, the outstanding counties are Las Vegas, Clark County, and fucking Washoe County. Deep blue. Deep blue. Holy shit. All they do is lie. Holy shit! All they do is lie! Let's take a look. Let's take a look at Pennsylvania. Oh, wait a minute. It's Philadelphia and the surrounding deep blue counties. It's Pittsburgh County, deep blue. Harrisburg, deep blue. Oops. Looks like all they can do is motherfucking lie. Lie, lie, and lie. So much of this process is still radically and purposely Okay, we'll give that a watch after, Chris. impossible to understand what's going on, but of course, we'll give you updates as they come on in. Now, as all of this is going on, I came across a very interesting piece by a fellow by the name of Alexander McCreese entitled, Why Trump Will Triumph in Pennsylvania Litigation. Now, I find- Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know this guy. This is the Gamer Gator guy. This guy was a Gamer Gator. Holy shit. Uh oh, what's this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, Catherine, what the fuck? Catherine, what the fuck? Oh no! Oh no! Holy shit. No! All right. All right, Catherine. You did it. You won. I can admit defeat, okay? I can def admit defeat when, unlike Donald Trump, unlike the MAGAs, I know when I have been defeated. I know when I have been owned. And what Catherine Dominates has done here is has put me in a position of checkmate. I am owned. I have no op option 
except to add the Ooh Demon emote to the website tonight. Tomorrow, this will be available on the site. Catherine, you win. You win. You heard me. Uh, this is a dab for my own defeat, just so you know. I have been owned. I have been owned. Thank you. Thanks for owning me live on my stream. And now, let it be known for the record that I don't hold on to victory when it's clear I've been completely destroyed. I'm, I'm completely destroyed. Completely and utterly destroyed. So good job, Catherine. You defeated me. I've been defeated, and now I will I will just bow. I, I have been owned. Thank you for thoroughly owning me. And now you all motherfuckers can get to have your stupid fucking ooh in there. All right? You get to have your ooh, but it's a it's a special ooh. And and just take victory. Take pride in your victory over me. It won't be up until tomorrow because that's how the site works. But tomorrow, I will have the ooh emote. I know. You beat me. You beat me. I got I got literally owned. I got owned harder than anybody because at least Dylan, at least Dylan was able to get $400 out of you ooh posters. But you know what? I think I actually won in the end, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, this is a pretty fucking good emote. This is actually a good emote. Look at that. Look at that. That's a fucking good emote. All right. You win. You just win fair and square. You win. All right. Now enough with my loss. Let's get back to Donald Trump's loss. Oh my God. We got a daily wire one. Yeah. Keep sending me links. If you find, uh, if you find things, send them to me and we'll watch them. Don't miss the things I said. Yeah. Let me scroll up. What, what do we got here? Grime Dango says, so this shit they're talking about with the SCOTUS is a giant nothing burger. Secretary of State has already had these ballots segregated. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. No, Peacecraft, we're going to watch all the dog shit that you've served up to us. Because guess what? You deserve, you deserve to be humiliated for bringing us this dog shit. This argument. Oh yeah, sorry. By the way, Alexander Macris, this guy is like a hyper gamer gator. Hyper fucking gamer gator. Hyper. This guy was like one of the main people. You, you, Some of you might even recognize this icon. And look, look at the interaction on this. Seven likes on his medium post. How many swords does he have, milady? I don't even know if he's got one. Look at these ratios. What a, what a bankrupt ratio. So sad. So motherfucking sad. Pathetic. Pathetic. Literally, there are more people. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? We're going to beat the likes with just emotes in chat. Are you ready? Load your pompos and we're gonna get a seven combo don't you fucking combo break load your pompos i'm gonna count down and we're gonna beat the like count on this guy's post with a, a pompo combo are you ready chat chat three two one pompo pompo <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Where's the chat? Oh, I, I left the chat off. I'm so dumb. Where's the chat box? Bam! 12! 12! Ah. <laughs> oh my god! Look at that shit! 12x combo! This is Trump's plan, and our chat just beat the, the, the fucking like thing instantly. And this has been up. This is a post. This hangs out. We did it live. We beat him with pompos. All right, let's continue. I'm sorry. Thank you all. But I just, we proved a point, right? Yeah. It, no, it, listen, it doesn't mean that Bernie wins. What it means is that we win. That we motherfucking won. And these malding motherfuckers are going to be relegated to the dustbin of history because we have better ideas. Because we have more passion. We have actual community. That's what's going to happen. Let's go. Back into this. Very convincing. And I'm curious what you think about it. So let me know in the comments section below. Now, as I'm sure you know, but the amazing Trump legal team has filed a lawsuit against particularly Pennsylvania. And the goal of that lawsuit, when all is said and done, yes, it does, is Hannah. to get any and all unverified. And Pompo is even more wholesome than Pepe. Does he have two copies of it? Wait. Yes, he does. He has two copies of the same Trump book. One over here with his mug and one up here. 
Turley Talks. These are his products. Holy shit, this whole thing is just packed with products he's trying to he's trying to push. Yeah, he's got Le Pen. Yeah, that's what I was pointing out. Oh my god, I'll save that. Let's take a look. Let's take a look, Gayfesh. Let's take a look right now. Let's just take a look. I'm not owned. I'm not owned. I continue to insist as I slowly shrink and transform into a corn cob. True, Gayfesh. True. Holy shit. Illegal votes virtually. You want to know the real truth, Defenestrator? Yeah, I know. 30 tabs, Eddie. It's okay. There's, ooh, Kino. It's going to be on the channel tomorrow. Tomorrow on the website. Got some tweets in the Discord? All right, I'll grab them in a minute. Um, On site tomorrow. It'll be the demon ooh. The ooh mama. That was that we'll call it ooh mama. Here we go. All of which are going to Biden, of course. Every one of them, of course, thrown out. No, that's not how math works. This guy is so motherfucking stupid. Okay, look. Let me show you something. Okay, ready? Let's say. Okay, hold on. How do I describe this? Okay, let's say that we both have three skittles. Okay, you got three skittles. Your friend has three skittles. Okay. On the other side of the table, there are seven Skittles. 80% of those Skittles go to you, and the other 20% goes to your friend. Who ends up with more Skittles? Who ends up with more Skittles? What a fucking coper, dude! What a fucking weasley little coper, my dude! What a fucking weasley little coper, dude! Holy shit, dude! Holy fucking shit! Still coping! Literally still coping! Still motherfucking coping to his audience! What a coper, dude! True. True. No Keck W. I'm tired of Keck W. Now that one I can't do. I can't do Keck W. I just actually, I actually, I really don't like Keck W. I just think it's not my, my type of emote. But let's be real. Coping. So yeah, by the way, anybody have an answer to that? Do anybody, do any of you know, um, do any of you know, um, how many, who's going to end up? Is it going to be you getting 80% of the votes or your friend when you both have three Skittles? Which one of you, um, which one of you wins? Here's the secret. It's you. You win. Because even if he is going to also, he will end up with more than three Skittles, but you will end up with 80% of the incoming Skittles. That's what's, that's how it works. That's how percentages work. So this guy's just so full of shit. It's unbelievable. And the theory that's operative here, and Trump talked about this in last night's speech, the nation, the theory is that if you get rid of all the most of the uh, verified ballots, the ballots that flunk the objective test of the chain of custody, the chronological documentation, right? The paper trail. Literally, literally, corkboard, red line, conspiracy theory bullshit. Con just absolute, unhinged conspiracy bullshit. That records the sequence of the custody and control of the individual Oh, wait, ballot. what's this? Sorry, I missed. Oh, you got a Weasley little coper? Fuck yes. Um... Let's save that. Oh my God, Catherine, I will, uh, can you post that? Actually here, here's what I'm going to do real quick. Give me one second. I'm going to make a clip, a clip channel. Oh my God. This is so amazing. Let me make a clip channel real quick. Uh, where am I going to put this? Uh, I'll just add a clip channel. It's temporary, but uh, Catherine, if you can drop that in the clip channel that I just made, it's below the pet zone on the Discord. Um, I will, I will post that. Oh my God, amazing, amazing! Thank you so much, amazing. Let's do this. It from precinct to verified voter, back to precinct together with corroborated voter identification. If you get rid of all the ballots that are unverified and also illegal, which is key to McCreese's argument, which we'll get into in a sec. No, that's true, Antipodian Squid. Antipodian Squid says, what weren't the only what weren't the only ballots that were taken out of the chain of custody, the ones that were put into fake ballot boxes put out by right wing groups? Yes. Or have I read the wrong information? Yeah. No. Ballots the this, this is fucking literal just bullshit. What they're saying is they're like, oh, well, what if somebody put it down in their car? That breaks the chain of custody. It's made up. It's fucking made up. These things got delivered and they're going. The only things that you could argue broke the chain of custody are um, 
ballots that were lost by the USPS. But keep in mind, if they're found and they're still sealed, they're still a valid ballot, even if there was a temporary error. It's so stupid. If you get rid of all of those ballots and count only the verified and legal ballots, Donald Trump wins. That's not so true. That's not actually true. You do not know this. This is just made up. He's just saying that. He doesn't have any of the numbers for that. He doesn't give any numbers for how many fucking ballots were invalidated. He doesn't give any argument. This is so stupid. And Rest well, Kanawichi. the election by landslide in many respects. We already know now that Donald Trump ended up getting more votes than Barack Obama in 2008. Obama got 69,400,000 plus votes. Trump okay, but who cares? Who cares? This is, this is meaningless. Literally meaningless. Everybody, this is, was a record election. There was more turnout than any other election. This is the most, this is the biggest one ever. And Oba and Biden got even more. What? This is, they're so stupid. This is the stupidest shit. Trump has surpassed that with 69,500,000 plus votes. So there's Oh my God, no girls, greatest president ever. That we've won the election in a landslide when it comes to leaks. Stuff that in your sink and gr and smoke it. Shut up. Legal verified votes. Toss out Rogaine all of hair. the unverified Oof. illegal votes and you have a Trump win. That's the operative hypothesis going into this. All right. So with that in mind, here's- Get that fucking word out of your mouth. This isn't scientific at all, you piece of shit. Mallory Bean says, that's how their grip goes. They just lie, 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 and their followers end up uh, end up and move the narrative in their favor. Or though their grift goes. Yeah, except it's really funny. Like, we're witnessing, Mallory, what we're witnessing right now is we're, we're, we're literally witnessing the grift imploding because they can't keep it going. It's unsustainable. This is just, this, like, some of these people will be able to continue grifting, but they're never, they're, they're not taken seriously. They're going to have to, oh yeah, Mallory, uh, consider joining the site. Um, the website, uh, wait, wait, Mallory, Grime Dango, is this the content creator, Mallory? Um, Mal, join the site. You can reserve your name and everything, and we'll give you a fancy name and everything. I think if, if you're the Mallory I'm thinking of, then I'll give you a fancy name in chat. Yay! Yes, it is. Yay! Consider joining the website. We'd love to have you. Um, yeah, plus it's more cozy on the website. More emotes and everything. We have all kinds of cool emotes. Welcome, by the way, Mallory. Happy, Very happy to have you. Um, Jesus Christ, these people are idiots. I barely understand your voting system and I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they don't know what they're talking about. They're just, I mean, here's the thing. They're making it up. This is, this is, this is why we call it copium. This is why the term copium has become, because this is desperation. This is what desperation looks like. In this man's eyes, his argument. this guy's eyes, he knows he's lost. This is a man who knows that he's lost right here. And what he's desperately trying to do is keep his grift going. Maybe he'll be able to keep his personal grift going, but the shot at any sort of political power is fucking done. Zarel, oh Zarel, I need to give you a, a fucking name too. Hold on, let me get the names done. Give me a second. Give me one second for the names. I gotta update the names. Boop boop boo doo 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 doo. I'm gonna need to get another site mod or a site admin too, a secondary site admin, since I'm so I don't have to do this on live. A4 Andre, oh A4 Andre's on here. Okay, we're gonna make a notable. Bam. And where is Zarel? Wait, Zarel, what the fuck? Oh, it's spelled slightly differently. There you go. Bam. All right, sick. Um, and then Mallory, once you're here, we'll give you one too. Don't worry. Um, People claiming that duplicate ballots are, are voter fraud? Well, they're also dumb. They're also incredibly dumb. It's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying. Like, the level that we have to go to. Holy shit. Absolutely un incredible. I can't show that on stream, but I will take a look at it afterwards, Catherine. Actually, you know what? Let me look at it right now while we're hanging. Let's see. Let's look at it. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my God. That's so fucking good, 
Catherine. Holy shit, that's so good. Holy fuck. Oh my god, that's so good. I can't show Vosh tweets, unfortunately. Sucks. Sucks, but it's all right. Let's go. In a nutshell, McCreese argues it's predicated on the assertion that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court has indeed blatantly violated the U.S. Constitution, demonstrably so, and that Supreme Court justices are on record recognizing this and will rule accordingly. Okay, so here's the backstory to what's going on in Pennsylvania. It's very interesting. Okay, it's not interesting at all, and you did a bad job explaining it. You also lied explicitly multiple times. Source, dude, trust me. This is literally a source, dude, trust me. 100%. 19, the Pennsylvania legislature passed a law called Act 77. Act 77 permitted all voters to cast their votes by mail, but it absolutely and unequivocally requires that all mail-in ballots be received by 8 p.m. on Election Day, when the polls officially close. Here's what the act states, and I'm quoting from it. Let's find out. No absentee ballot under this subsection shall be counted. In 2019, the PA legislator passed a law called Act 77 that permitted all voters to cast their ballots in by mail, but uh, but in Justice Alito's words, unambiguously required that all mailed-in ballots be received by 8 p.m. on Election Day. The exact text is 2019 PA Legislative Service Act, which states no absentee ballots under this subsection. Hmm, that's, that's, this is, this is the weasel word right here under this subsection, but we don't know what types of votes are under this subsection shall be counted, which is received in the office of the County Board of Elector of Elections later than eight o'clock PM on the day of the primary. Well, before we go any further, let's find out, let's find out 2019 PA Legal Service Act, 2019 77. Let's find out. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so boring. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is mucho texto. You all say, you all say, you all say leftists are mucho texto. This is a right wing meme right now. This is a right wing meme. This is what right wing memes look like. This is what a right-wing meme mucho texto looks like. Look at this shit. You think leftists are mucho texto? Try again. This is how they try to win elections, is with this shit. Absolute garbage. The U.S. Supreme Court said Monday that election officials in Pennsylvania can count absentee ballots received as late as Friday after Election Day so long as they were postmarked by November 3rd. Oh, shit. Mucho linko. Oh, that is a big linko. Let's take a look at this linko. Mucho Linko. Let's take a look at the Mucho Linko. It's not clear that the PA counties weren't separating these late arriving ballots already. It's not clear there are enough later arriving ballots that would change the outcome. In short, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Mucho Linko. All right. All right. Let's continue. So we don't know. This is basically bullshit. This is basically bullshit. We have no fucking clue. Let's see. Let's see. Which is oh, so this is the NPR one, huh? Okay, let's take a look at the NPR one. Supreme Court rules that Pennsylvania can count ballots received after election day. The U.S. Supreme Court said Monday that the election officials in Pennsylvania can count absentee ballots received as late as Friday after the election day, so long as they are postmarked by November third. Okay, that ends it. This right here, this decision already invalidates what they're claiming. So this means nothing. So this entire thing means means nothing because peacecraft peacecraft because alito is huffing as much copium as you if not more that's why that's why alito would make that statement that's why it's cope this is called cope it's denying reality to save your motherfucking ego that's what it is you and alito are just <sighs> so much copium it's actually unbelievable it's unbelievable and we tried to warn you i tried peacecraft i've tried to tell you that you were in bed with a bunch of irrational completely unhinged fascists yeah except guess what peacecraft they're not they're fucking not as it turns out they're not and uh yeah that's basically it yeah that's basically the, the rundown 
let's keep let's keep watching this cope office of the county board of elections later than eight o'clock p.m okay so we know this is irrelevant close quote in other words the pennsylvania legislature passed a law that defined a clear and an unambiguous deadline for all mail-in ballots. Yes, and the PA, and guess what? This United States Supreme Court ruled that that was not the case. This United States Supreme Court is able to override unconstitutional things. Okay, open and close. This is open and close. Done. Election fraud claim. Oh my God, we could do that. We could do that. Ooh, maybe we'll do that. That might be fun. Oh God, is Tucker losing it? Oh, we got a Tucker thing to watch as well. We got a Tucker thing to watch as well. Oh my God. Let's hear what Tucker has to say. Ready for some, ready for some hot, fresh fucking copium? Let's watch. These people seek absolute sameness, total uniformity. You're happy with your corner coffee shop. They want to make you drink Starbucks every day from now until forever, no matter how it tastes. That's the future they promise. Everyone doing the same thing. Listen, if the Republicans win, you will have to wear the same socks every day. No matter how much they have holes in them easily, you will have to wear them. Yeah. Damn. God damn. All right. So, yeah, I think we've seen enough of this one. I don't think we need to watch any more of this. His argument is completely falls apart at the very beginning. At the very fucking beginning. Oh, oh, we got something else coming in hot from Grime Dango. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's take a look. What we got coming in hot from Grime Dango. This just in. CNN reports that President Trump is beginning to acknowledge he may not be able to win the election. Oh. My. God. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is the best. Just in, CNN reports that President Trump is unhappy with his legal team. Oh! <laughs> Hold on. Let's just let's just go back here. Just just ready? Ready? Hold on. Where was that clip? All of which are going to Biden, of course, the nation. The theory is that if you control the individual ballot from get rid of Corona, when all the yeah, was all right. Let's where was it? Where did he put it? Remember when he said Trump's crack legal team? He was like, oh, the best legal team. I want to find that exact clip. Here, let's find it. Let's put it on fucking rapid speed and find where he says that. Here we go. Start right in here now. A quick update on where we are right now as of early Friday afternoon. The leads are all razor thin. The Trump campaign is indeed confident that it will win Georgia, North Carolina, and Arizona. When all the votes are counted, many of the outstanding votes are military ballots as well as counties that are deep red. Unfortunately, so much of this process is still radically and purposely obfuscated that it's virtually impossible to understand what's going on. But of course, we'll give you updates as they come on in. Now, as all of this is going on, I came across a very interesting piece by a fellow by the name of Alexander McCreese entitled, Why Trump Will Triumph in Pennsylvania Litigation. I find his argument very convincing, and I'm curious what you think about it, so let me know in the comments section below. Now, as I'm sure you know, but the amazing Trump legal team has filed a lawsuit. The amazing Trump legal team. The amazing Trump legal team. The the amazing Trump legal team. Let's just play that back nice and slow here. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Trump legal team is follow. So let me know in the comments section below now as I'm sure you know but the amazing Trump legal team is the law the amazing Trump legal